Good morning, YouTube. How are you this morning? I am pretty good. Uh, it is about 8.30 Central Time, and I am in Birmingham, Alabama, outside of Transload Industries. I think that's what they're called. Um, they are a uh, transshipment warehouse, basically. They take stuff, hold it for customers, and then ship it to the customers. Middleman, I guess. I've been here before, once before. And I did look back, and it was from Laredo. Speaking of Laredo, um, I left Laredo on Monday afternoon. I guess it was about, well, it was after, I guess it was four or something, whatever, when I talked to y'all. And uh, last. That took off. I had plenty of time. Um, ended up uh, stopping in Iowa, Louisiana at the pilot. I was going to stop in Orange, but I had like three hours of driving time left. And uh, I kind of didn't, and I, and I didn't want to stop there early, so I kept on going, and I drove close to 500 miles that day when I parked, and uh, which was roughly halfway, roughly halfway. Um, kinda, uh, I'd already uploaded a video, so I just kind of ate something and went to bed. I was really, really tired. Um, the drive up 59, down 10 uh, to get there was wasn't too bad. I mean, it was foggy. And rained on and off the whole time. And misty. Not really rain. And I got to Iowa Park. I mean, not Iowa Park. Iowa, Louisiana, and parked. And Iowa Park's in Texas. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, and uh, just as I was going to sleep, it started to rain. I mean, rain, rain. And uh, that put me right out. So I got up in the morning, took a shower, and then took off. And uh, I got to uh, the pilot just south, excuse me, Flying J, just south of Birmingham, about 20 miles out. I guess around 6.30 in the evening yesterday. <clears throat> and uh, cooked dinner, watched some TV, and uh, checked my email and stuff, and went to bed. Got up this morning and came on in here. It's only a 20-mile drive. It took me an hour, over an hour to get here. Traffic was horrid, horrid in a couple in a couple of uh, a couple of accidents too. But oh well, I got here at seven fifteen, and that was that's good enough. Um, it's an all day appointment. I mean, Cut Maverick wanted me here when it opened, but there's no parking. If there had been over my parking, I would have come here. There wouldn't have been any there wouldn't have been any doubt about that. But got here, checked in, and then they pulled me right around into the uh, into the uh, unload area. Got unloaded. After I untarped and unsecured, God, my sinuses are bugging me again. God, it's all this weather. Um, and uh, sent my empty call, pulled out here on the street, and I'm getting ready to leave here because I can't really park on the street because it's a residential neighborhood. Actually, residential neighborhood starts right in front of me. There's a school they're demolishing right next door, an old elementary school. I noticed they were starting on it the last time I was here. And this it's a dump. I don't know what school it was, but it's... It looks like it should be a set for The Walking Dead. And I wouldn't be surprised if The Walking Dead hadn't done a shot. It showed you shoot here. Um, but I'm going to go down the street to the Kangaroo. When I drove by earlier, it had two or three spots. It's a really junky little truck stop. and I don't like it. I'm going to hang out here as long as I can, I think. Uh, when I said my empty call, there was uh, 20, I think 27 trucks in, in Alabama. They were 17 loads short, and I was number three. Not really sure what I'm going to be doing. I think the last time I loaded here, I unloaded here, I loaded here in Alabama itself. Though I don't remember what it was. I want to think it was a coil. Which wouldn't bother me. I don't care what it is. Well, I do. I do care what it is. I just don't care what it is. Does that make any sense? So that's where we stand at the moment. Not really else going on. I guess I when I find out, get to where I'm going, I'll let you know. Good afternoon YouTube. How are you this afternoon? Whew. My shoulders hurt. <laughs> 
Well, I'm pretty good. I am at uh, Hickman Williams and Company in Birmingham, Alabama, about three miles from uh, Transload. And uh, let's see, I stayed at Transload for about another 35 minutes or so. And then uh, I went ahead and went to the kangaroo. And as soon as I pulled into the, the spot and turned the truck off, I uh, got a load dispatch. So I did all my preliminary paperwork, etc., etc., and uh, we came on down here. It's about two and a half, three miles away. Pretty much a straight shot. Didn't even have to get on the freeway. Pulled in here and uh, checked in, and uh, they told me where to go and started loading. I'm carrying 16 pallets of coke. <laughs> oh, sorry, wrong kind of coke. Steel tempering coke for Gerdau in Fort Smith, which is 525 miles away. Do it tomorrow. It came up as a just in time appointment. I'm not really sure why because it has a delivery window, which I should be able to make no problem. I got eight hours left today, and I'll get, I'm probably going to go on to uh, the Maverick Yard in Little Rock and uh, stop there because that's probably about as far as I'm going to get. I might get all the way. You never know. I don't think so, though, since about eight hours is all I got left of my 14, too, I think. Um, the video you're going to watch of me loading and tarping it is uh, kind of unique. I haven't done anything like this before. They're big bags. They weigh 3,000 pounds apiece, and they're on pallets. So you strap, you strap them down, uh, two straps to the front, two pair, two straps to the back, two pair, and then single strap the rest of them. And then you use trip chains front and back. The only part, bad part was, is of course I had to tarp it using eight foot drops, need both of them. The bad part of that is, they can't and won't put them up there for you. They don't even put them on the trailer. So I had to manhandle them, and you could see me trying to crawl around on top of these bags to lay this stuff out. And then after the loading video, I'm gonna show you another video with the finalized tarp job, looks like. Not too bad, if I say so myself. So, I guess that's it for today. I'm just kind of wore out now. So I'm just kind of, kind of mosey on down the road. So, until tomorrow, keep the shiny side up, 73s. Have a good day.